Hello guys. Um, when the stock market collapsed in 2008, in most of the financials, it, we mean by the financials, uh, mortgages, um, uh, banks, uh, insurances, all these companies, they, ha they have a big hit in 2008 when the market of finance collapsed. In most, most of these uh, companies, they have hardships. Some even they go bankruptcy from that from that time to to till now, in two thousand eight. Now, but there are other other sectors that develop at this time, and we have a bull in this market which is uh, the precious metals like gold and silver. Okay, now, which is better, to to buy gold and silver in physical or to buy it from stock market? I'm telling you the stock market is better. The stock market, why? Because you are not going to buy silver or gold as it is, even if you are uh, buying it as, uh, as an ETF, which is uh, exchange traded fund, which, which represents the price of gold and silver. Okay? But uh, you can buy companies. And this, is, and this is the good thing about stock market. A company is ten dollars a share right now. Okay, it can go to thirty dollars or fifty dollars. But silver and and gold they don't go that much. You you see the difference? What I'm saying is that in the stock market, companies they develop, they grow bigger and bigger and bigger because mutual fund they buy them and they make them bigger and bigger. And you you are making more and more and more money, regardless of the price of, uh, uh, of gold and the price of silver or the other metals okay if you you are interested uh, to invest in the stock market you try to choose companies and you just invest in them now if you use my own strategies we are doing swing trading so we are not staying years we are staying only few days few weeks or few months until the trend finishes and then we exit we are not looking at fundamentals or at the news or what do we do with gold or what do we do with silver as the other people think so the market doesn't work like this the market works with whom is buying this company shares and then the shares goes up and then you make money although sometimes you find silver and gold they don't go that much but the company's price they go too much so you you are with the thing that moves too fast that you can make a lot of money so the stock market gives you if you you are interested only in those uh, precious metals understand that it is like the whole sector of the market sometimes some sectors go down like the energy sector for two years ago or three years ago almost all the stocks go down because the mutual fund they sell off this kind of sectors and industries so it is it is a bad idea to buy while the big guys are selling never buy when there is a sell-off you should stay one year or two years until there is a, another big move from the bottom from the support line and then you can buy like what happened to energy sector before six or eight months the stock has been going up and the people who bought from bottom they have made uh, some money from now 70% or 60% or 40% depending on the industries depending on the stocks so in the market there are opportunities and you should never 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 think that the fundamentals or the news will tell you the truth the truth is in the price itself for me if I see a stock is good and it's going up I don't care about what they say about online I don't care because they are people Okay? They don't know the future. I don't know you the future. They don't know the future. So who knows the future? The price will, will tell you if you are right or wrong. So we are always following the price. That's why swing traders make a lot of money because of this thing. Okay? If you are following this analyst or the other analyst, uh, it is just an opinion. He has an opinion. You, you have an opinion. And he is predicting. You are predicting also. So all the people are the same thing. So who, who makes the money is the person who feels the price moving. 
and swing traders are the people who are following the price for true for the move of the trend that's why you can make money okay so uh, a lot of people they buy silver as physical like coins like uh, uh, like the other stuff but understand that uh, you can't uh, put $100 uh, $100,000 or 1 million or half million in in coins and then when you want to sell them you you don't find someone to sell it's, it's a lot of money and the market doesn't accept those huge amount but in the stock market whatever money you have in the market you can sell with the market price and you don't lose that much but when you are physical you are trapped in the physical thing when you want to sell you should pay fees and you should pay less because the people most of the people they don't they are not interested to buy a lot of uh, quantities if they if they are interested you should lower your price and you will be losing a lot of money from your investment okay so thank you very much for watching if you have any any questions just ask thank you very much